My number one pick is something that's often overlooked for these types of lists, and that's... Hey, it's Mark again, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the 10 essential tools that every new homeowner needs. Now, these 10 tools can help you complete about 80% or more of the typical projects that you'll run into around the house, and even if you're not a new homeowner yourself, these tools can make great gifts for someone who is. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first up on the list are utility knives. So a uh, utility knife is a great thing to have around the house and it can help you cut through things that you know you shouldn't be using that steak knife for. So everything from cutting different types of materials like cardboard or drywall or even carpet if you have a different home improvement project that you're trying to complete or any kind of a repair to even using it to open boxes. So once the blade wears out, all you have to do is simply swap out the blade with a new one and they even also make ones that let you change blades quickly and ones that will fold up like a pocket knife. So number nine, there are a lot of things that can be used as a hammer, but none of the alternatives work very well. So the hammer is a versatile tool that is essential for every toolbox. It can be used for a variety of tasks around the house, such as hanging pictures, fixing loose deck boards, and even demolition work. For homeowners just starting out, a simple sturdy claw hammer is a great choice. Next up, we have a tape measure. So a tape measure is a simple and common tool, but if you don't have one when you really need to figure out if that new refrigerator is gonna fit through the front door, then you might just end up with a new lawn ornament. A basic 25 foot tape measure is a great choice, but make sure that you get one that includes the fraction marks on it. That'll just make it easier to read and use. Also, digital tape measures are a great choice if you have it in your budget, and they make it easy to measure larger spaces or even quickly figure out the amount of square footage in a room. Next up are stud finders. So a stud finder is another must have tool for homeowners, especially if you're planning on hanging heavy objects on your walls and you don't want them to fall off. Stud finders use magnetic or electronic sensors to locate the framing studs behind the drywall so you can know exactly where to drill or put in a nail. With a good quality stud finder, you can quickly and easily locate the studs and get your project done right the first time. There are a lot of brands to choose from, and while most work the same way, I recommend looking for one that can also tell you if there are electrical wires in the wall, which can help you avoid any shocking surprises. Next up, we have levels, and specifically bubble levels. So a bubble level can help you hang pictures, install shelves, and lay tiles, among many other tasks that you might encounter as a home improvement DIYer. So bubble levels come in a variety of different sizes and types, including torpedo levels and magnetic levels. And they even have some that include a laser. If you're not familiar, torpedo levels are a compact level that's easy to use and store, which makes them a good choice for quick checks around the home and for new homeowners. Magnetic levels are ideal for metal surfaces and can be attached directly to metal objects, which can make them more convenient. Laser levels are more advanced and provide a precise and hands-free way to check leveling making them ideal for more complex projects such as installing cabinets or framing walls. Also keep in mind that a simple 6 or 12 inch level can handle almost everything. Coming in at number 5 are screwdrivers. So screwdrivers come in a variety of different sizes and types including Phillips head, flat head, and Torx. They're essential for tightening loose screws, assembling furniture, and installing things like shelves. A basic set of screwdrivers is a must have for any homeowner. Also a multi-bit ratcheting screwdriver set is a great option because they come with a variety of different heads that can be swapped out quickly, and these take up very, very little room. Number four, drills. A drill is a must-have tool for any homeowner that wants to tackle their own DIY projects. With the right attachments, you can use a drill to not only make holes in things, but you can also drive screws into different objects. Drill speed and torque control are important features to look at and consider, especially if you'll be using the drill for heavy-duty projects. And for someone that's looking for all the features, look for a drill that includes a hammer setting. This will help you install screws and anchors into concrete or brick. Next up, pliers. So pliers are a very versatile and essential tool for any homeowner. And unlike what some tradespeople say, no, they are not hammers. There are several different types of pliers to choose from, including slip joint pliers, needle nose pliers, and locking pliers. Slip joint pliers are a good choice for general tasks around the home, while needle nose pliers are useful for working in tight spaces. Locking pliers are designed to grip and hold objects securely, making them useful for removing stubborn nuts and bolts. Like with any other type of tool in the home improvement space, it seems like there's just a ton of different options. And while usually I'd recommend just getting one thing for your toolbox, in this case, I'm gonna recommend that you get three. I recommend that you pick up a normal pair of pliers, a needle nose pair of pliers, and also a locking pair of pliers. So between these three options, you should have all of your different tasks taken care of. Coming in at number two, a ladder. So a ladder is a critical tool for any home maintenance or improvement project. 
And no, it won't fit in a tool bag, but yes, I highly recommend that you still go ahead and purchase a ladder. It can help you do different things that I'm not going to mention here because obviously you know what ladders are used for. But at the same time, if you don't have a ladder on hand, then you're going to be tempted to use something else as a ladder that's not going to be as safe like a chair or something else. So by all means, be safe, especially when you're working up high. Purchase a good quality ladder that will last you a long time. Some other features to look for include a weight capacity that can support you and the tools that you need, non-slip steps for added safety, and adjustable legs for uneven surfaces. Fiberglass ladder may be a good option because it's durable and resistant to electrical shock. Also, if you're working on outdoor projects, consider a ladder with a wide base for stability. Also, personally, I love combination ladders because they're easy to store and flexible enough to tackle a variety of different jobs. So if I was going to choose one type of ladder, the combination ladder would be it. My number one pick is something that's often overlooked for these types of lifts, and that's wrenches. I don't know about you, but when I hear the word wrench, the first thing that comes to mind is working on cars and not fixing things around the house, but every homeowner should have them in their toolkit. Wrenches are used to tighten or loosen bolts and nuts, making them an essential tool for tasks such as installing shelves, fixing leaky faucets, repairing furniture, and working on lawn equipment. They come in many different shapes and sizes, including standard, adjustable, and socket wrenches. If you have to pick just one, an adjustable wrench will handle most jobs. And if you get a socket wrench and sockets or a wrench set, it's important to remember to have both metric and standard wrenches in your toolkit to handle all the different sizes of bolts and nuts that you'll encounter. So do you agree with my picks? If you change or add anything, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.